name brand that I use is La Bandavita. La Banderita. My YouTube stories tend to be a lot of BSing. So when I joke around about certain things, I'm just kidding. Kinda. Like the way they respond is in like, hey man, just want to like ask you a quick question about what you said earlier. Nobody ever talks like that. It's always like, hey, fuckhead, uh, you're an idiot because blah, 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 and reason, reason, reasons, and here's a link why I'm right and you're wrong, unblock, follow, or block, follow. All I said was... Hey, what's going on, you guys? Boy Swiper Boom here with another mukbang video. What's going on? How are you? For shout outs, requests, and dedications, make sure to hit us up on all our social media platforms. That includes Instagram, TikTok, FaceTiming, uh, <laughs> Vine, uh, uh, MySpace, Your Space, all the spaces. But we would love it if you'd go to our Instagram, which is Love at First Bite Vlog. That is our most active social media platform. We post everything from there from behind the scenes things to uh, our puppy, my wife, me, whatever, you know, whatever we post, we post. And I also like it when you guys like hit us up and request things and give us advice on certain things and whatnot. So um, if you could do us a big favor and head on over to Instagram, it is called Love at First Bite Vlog. Follow us and uh, I'll see you over there. Cool. Coldest Water Bottle, if you want to get your own Coldest Water Bottle, make sure to hit that link down below. Type in promo code BOOM and get yourself some free shipping and handling on any type of coldest water bottle you want, whether it's a big one like this, a smaller 20 ounce one, different colors, shapes, sizes, whatever you want, get your name engraved in it, whatever you wanna do. Just hit that link down below, type in promo code BOOM, that's me, and uh, get yourself a hookup on one of these coldest water bottles. Keep your hot stuff hot and your cold stuff cold. So, um, I'm trying to get this lighting more on point. I think that's pretty good. Um, if you don't know, well, you about to know. Of course, this is the world famous Mom's Chicken Tacos. I've done a million of these videos. I've done a recipe video on Love at First Bite, the YouTube channel, uh, how to make them and whatnot. My wife just did a low carb version of this particular uh, taco. It's just my mom's version of an Americanized taco from a young birdo that was complaining about how all his little American buddies in the 80s during sleepovers and hangouts, their parents made the crunchy shell ones with shredded cheese. You know, so uh, my mom one day just ended up making one of these, and uh, this is her version of it. Um, let's get into it because I am hungry, and the lighting's still kind of weird, right? Okay, let's get into it. Let's get a thumbnail. Let me just start from the side here. So dark, L. Okay, maybe if I hold this down right, and then just lock it, turn it up, booyah. Actually, this lighting's really good like that. Let me just leave it like this. Oh no, let me turn it down a tad, tiny bit. There. I know it's three minutes, guys. Chill out. Okay, first bite, y'all ready? Okay, let's do it. Mm. Mm, I have 
Mexican Coke. Let's get into it. The bubbles. So Abby just did a video of this. These are just classic corn tortillas. Um, the name brand that I use is La Banderita. La Banderita. The way my mother makes it is she does it from like scratch, scratch, where she'll buy an entire uh, raw chicken and uh, boil it. Break it apart and shred it. Oh, damn, did, did this one not get any salsa? Oh, no, it's in there. And um, then what she does is she puts the chicken the shredded chicken in the corn tortilla and she uses extra virgin olive oil just like this much in a pan and fries it in there folded like this with the chicken in it takes them out puts them in a whatever colander upside down so the grease drips out adds crema nestle crema which is just mexican table cream But they sell Mexican crema and all different name brands and whatnot at Walmart or other grocery stores. But back in the day, you didn't have access to those kind of Mexican brands. So my mother would just buy Nestle table cream at the time. And when and we kind of just got used to that. So we've been using it ever since. The salsa is just picante. Um, chunky, picante, chunky, hot salsa. That's also just another standard salsa. Shredded lettuce and shredded mozzarella cheese. I know that's weird, but that's what she's been, that's how she made it. So I am not going to complain. I was thinking about doing these tacos for taco week during the June Mukbang ASMR collab. But every time Hapa Eats would do the April collab back in the day, I always did this. And I kind of just want to do something different this time. And I don't necessarily know if I want to do like Americanized tacos, like the real ones, like the Ortega hard shell box, you know, with old El Paso salsa and shredded cheddar cheese and, you know, daisy sour cream. And I don't know if I want to do that. I think Abby might do fish tacos. Um, I don't know. I want to think outside the box, do something different. 
Maybe like a pulled pork barbecue tacos. I don't know. <laughs> Oh, by the way, guys, whenever I post like a YouTube story, I know I don't know if a, if a lot of you guys keep up with, you know how Instagram has like IG stories, like Instagram stories that you can film real quick. Uh, YouTube does the same thing. I have a bunch of YouTube stories on mine. On top of the videos I upload. YouTube stories is fun because you don't got to go through all the hassle of uploading, putting a description, tags, monetization, ads, you know. You can just post a quick story, show people what's up. Now, my uh, YouTube stories tend to be um, a lot of... A lot of BSing. <laughs> I, I joke around a lot on my YouTube stories. Um, so I need y'all to like not take it to heart. Um, so when I joke around about certain things, I'm just kidding. Kinda. <laughs> okay, so I get the usual. And this is how it goes. I post something on YouTube story in a trolley kind of way. And then I end up getting a whole bunch of backlash from people either in the YouTube story comments or Snapchat. Usually just Snapchat. Everybody goes like, oh my God, I can't believe you said this. I'm going straight to Snapchat. And they make it into like a big deal when I, I didn't, it wasn't meant to be a big deal. But if you want to take it like it's a big deal, I mean, I can't. Okay, sure. And I'm not good at like, like, you know how people, you say something on the internet and then people were like, like the way they, like the way they respond isn't like, hey man, just want to like ask you a quick question about what you said earlier. You know, I, I really don't understand where you're coming from. So, you know, it sounds a little like you're offending. The, like nobody ever talks like that. It's always like, hey, fuckhead, uh, you're an idiot because blah, 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 blah. And reason, reason, reasons. And here's a link why I'm right and you're wrong. Unblock, follow, or block, follow. <laughs> yeah, that, it always goes like that. So, okay. And the only person that kind of understood and like laughed about it was Ignited, which was hilarious. All I said was, I don't remember exactly what I said, but in a nutshell, it was basically like, why is everybody using like, why is everybody's like all the new YouTubers that are out right now, why are all their backgrounds black? Like they're just black and then it's them with the food. It's like, I get it. Like a few people did it a few months ago or maybe like a year ago. Oh, actually I've been doing it for, okay. There might be a few exceptions that have been using a black background for a long time, okay? But what I'm saying is, a lot of people like, especially lately that I've been like really being active in the community and putting in effort to like seeing multiple people's content, showing them love, talking to people, seeing what they got so I can get inspired and blah. Just being in the community a lot. Golly, a lot of people have black backgrounds. A lot of people have black backgrounds. And a lot of people didn't even watch the whole entire YouTube story because at the end of the YouTube story, like I was making fun of it, and then at the end I said, I'ma get one. Cause it was, I mean, at the end of the day, it's kinda cool. Like, you know, you got a black background, there's nothing back there, you look mysterious, you know, it's just you and the food. You don't, you're not making me feel like, you know, you're at home, you're like in a weird studio somewhere, like in in the downtown area in an office, like with <laughs> like a mic guy and a and uh you know what I mean? Like it just it makes it look very professional, but I get it.
things change. You know, everybody has a ring light now. Everybody. Everybody gets a mic. You know? I have a cheap one. I didn't I didn't go into the hundred dollar ones that like they hold right hand. Hello guys, everybody, how's everybody doing today? Today we're gonna be doing a nursing role play. Um uh, hi, how are you? Are you checking in today? Do you have a ten PM appointment? Oh, okay. Um, I'm not doing that. And I'm not saying, and I'm not saying like, oh, I'm not doing that because I'm better. I'm not saying that either. I'm just, I'm just like, everybody got to have a black background. <laughs> so anyways, my point is like people got in their, like, you know who got in their feelings? People that don't even hear. Okay. Okay. Here's the thing. The people that don't even do YouTube, the people that don't even None of the people that have a black background hit me up saying, man, come on, why are you making fun of me? Nobody. It was like random viewers that are like, I don't know, like fangirls or something of, of all y'all, all the people that have black backgrounds. They like hit me up and it's like, how dare you, blah, blah, blah. Um, as a matter of fact, ASMR bro, uh, actually, how dare you say that about Sunday ASMR, <laughs> Sunday ASMR, oh, really, you're gonna make fun of kimchi ASMR, like, yo, I'm, I'm not, I, I, people can say stuff, alright, people can say stuff, and I joked around about it, I wanna apologize first and foremost on behalf of myself and my rude behavior, um, on behalf of everybody else who else, you, you know, uses black backgrounds, you know, I am in no position to, Judge, for those of you, um, hi, my name is Bertle Smalls, uh, a.k.a. Swabby Boom. Please don't cancel me. Hashtag, um, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I'm, I don't know. It's what I signed up for, right? Right? I signed, I signed up for this. Harassment, right? You know, like when celebrities get stalked by paparazzi and stuff, and you have like regular civilians be like, "Hey, they they wanted to be um, Hollywood actors and stars. That's what they that's what they signed up for. That's what." Bird, are you comparing yourself to um, Oscar winning winning Hollywood actors? <sighs> yeah. Once you hit 30K, yo, it's like, oh, damn, it's a whole new world, dog. A whole new world. You get all kinds of people hating on you and trashing you. Man, I got, like, a bunch today from just saying that YouTube story. A bunch. And when I say a bunch, I mean, like, three. <laughs> it was just, like, three people, but still, like, like, Ignited felt me like he saw that I was I was joking around, man. And you know what? You know what? You know what's crazy about this? It just makes me want to do it more. It just makes me who 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 else can I trigger, huh? Who else can I just say something and trigger? But you know, I'm just joking around. Black backgrounds look cool. It's just that everybody does it. I kind of like one. You know, I, I'm I like the I like relatable videos. You know, I like relatable videos that are just like, oh, that's, that's that person's living room. Oh, that's that person's, you know, what that bedroom. Like, I like those. They're just, you know, simple, nice. Don't forget to like this video. Share, please. Don't forget to hit me on Snapchat. And tell me how much I suck. Oh, man, I woke up to uh, somebody saying, I still don't know how the hell you bagged that beautiful woman. I always wake up to that comment from randoms, like, at least every four or five days. Like, y'all can't believe that I got Ebby? Look at me. I got a very tight Ralph Lauren V-neck shirt on. I'm fine. Thumbs up the video, like and thumbs up if you don't, comment, subscribe, and we'll see y'all in the next video. Alright y'all, peace.